Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Marifes Coryal, and for today's video, we will have an instructional video. So our video for today is all about the misplaced modifier and the dangling modifier. Okay, so are you ready? Alright, so without further ado, let's start. Let's start with the misplaced modifier. Okay. So, what is a misplaced modifier? This is a word or phrase or clause that is improperly separated from the word it modifies or describes. Okay. For example, on his way home, Rike found a silver lady's earrings. In this example, the thought here is that a silver lady owns an earrings. In which, very confusing to the fact that there is no such silver lady. So, this is what we called misplaced modifier. To correct the sentence, we need to determine first the modifier in the sentence. So, the modifier here is the word silver. And move it to its proper place in the sentence, in which it is generally next to the word it modifies. So the revised sentence is On his way home, Rike found a lady's silver earrings. So here, the modifier silver modifies the word earrings and not the lady. Alright, so there are several kinds of misplaced modifiers. The first one is misplaced adjectives. Misplaced adjectives are incorrectly separated from the nouns they modify and almost always distort the intended meaning. For example, the red student's workbook lay on the table. So here in this sentence, the modifier is the word red and the uh, word it modifies is the students this the word students so it is very incorrect because there is no such uh, student which are a uh, student which is red so we need to correct the sentence we need to place the modifier red next to the word student because the word red modifies the word workbook and not the student so here is the revised sentence the student's red workbook lay on the table all right, so now we have the second kind of misplaced modifier. We have the misplaced phrases. Misplaced phrases may cause a sentence to sound awkward and may create a meaning that does not make sense. For example, the dealer sold the Cadillac to the buyer with leather seats. As you noticed, the phrase here with leather seats modify the wrong noun to buyer. To correct the sentence, put the phrase next to the noun Cadillac, which is what the phrase modifies. The dealer sold the Cadillac with leather seats to the buyer. Now the last kind of misplaced modifier is the misplaced clauses. Misplaced clauses may cause a sentence to sound awkward and may create a meaning that does not make sense. To fix the errors and clarify the meaning, put the phrases next to the noun they are supposed to modify. Alright, so for example, The waiter served a dinner roll to the man that was well battered. So the sample sentence creates a wrong thought and there is no such battered man. To correct the sentence, put the clause next to the noun that is being modified so here is the uh, revised sentence the waiter served a dinner roll that was well buttered to the man 
Alright, so since we're done with the misplaced modifier, let's now have a dangling modifier. Okay, so what is a dangling modifier? A dangling modifier, this is a phrase or class that is not clearly and logically related to the word or words it modifies or describes. Unlike to the misplaced modifier, a dangling modifier cannot be corrected by simply moving it to a different place in a sentence. In most cases, it appears at the beginning of the sentence, although it can also come at the end of the sentence. Also, it is said that sometimes the dangling modifier error occurs because the sentence falls to specify anything to which the modifier can refer. Alright, so for example, looking toward the east, a funnel-shaped cloud stirred up dust. So in this example, it does not specify who is looking toward the east. In fact, there is nothing at all in the sentence to which the modifying phrase looking toward the east can logically refer. So in order to correct this dangling modifier, leave the modifier as it change the main part of the sentence so that it begins with the term actually modified. So here is now the uh, revised sentence. Looking toward the east, I saw a funnel-shaped cloud stir up dust. Also, in correcting a dangling modifier, you can also change the dangling modifier phrase to a subordinate clause, creating a subject and a verb. Alright, so for example, when 9 years old, my mother enrolled in medical school. And the correct or the revised sentence is, When I was 9 years old, my mother enrolled in medical school. So now, the dangling modifier when I was 9 years old modifies I and not my mother who was 9 years old when she enrolled in medical school. Okay? All right.